Want to try Welcome to Seco Talks. Today's subject is a pumping system used in vacuum furnaces. I will try to find some competent person to talk about. Let's go. Okay, I see my colleague Artur. Artur represents our service department. Artur! So, how are you? I'm oh, fine, thanks. <laughs> how are you? We talked today about pumping system. Are you able to explain something to us? <laughs> Do you think I am a great person? You are, the, you are the best person, so come on. Uh, well, let's try. <laughs> okay, Artur. First thing, if we talk about vacuum furnaces, we need pumping system. So if you can explain the basic principles of pumping system. Okay, so uh, generally that the system use, uh, let's say, uh, three different uh, types of, of the vacuum pumps. Okay. So, so uh, we start with the mechanical pumps uh, or, or second name can be roughing pump. It is the same, the people using mm -hmm. both of names for that. So Here we have two pumps. This yes. is normal or we use one mechanical or two, how it is? It depends on the size of the object which have to be pumping down. So, so This is relatively big furnace, so we need two mechanical pumps. I would say it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we have two uh, mechanical pumps. And uh, on the top we have located a roughing pump or busting pump. Sorry, not roughing, busting pump. Or root. Um, root. That's the name what we are using here in our general um, uh, service team. And the last is a diffusion pump. It is a, let's say, a last stage of, of the level, vacuum level. Diffusion, you mean high vacuum? Yes, this is high vacuum. So, so while we are talking about three different types, let's say, okay? It is because it's impossible to create uh, inside the object um, the vacuum just on the high level, just okay. only one type. You mentioned about mechanical, root, diffusion, I see small pump. What is this? But this is uh, similar like a mechanical pump and this element is responsible just to maintain a vacuum uh, inside the diffusion pump. So it is, this is not responsible for the process? This uh, is more responsible for keeping the not condition? Not directly, in, let's yes. say. Okay, so uh, from another side, if we just focus how the diffusion pump work or maybe when we can start, so the first we have to create vacuum inside, inside pump. the pump and that's using the small one. Okay, this is great. I see all the pumps are installed in one frame to make it compact or why it's like this? Yeah, you know, it's the same like you say, it's, it's, it's a compact. It's more easy for, you know, assembly, this assembly, that's why we're using the frame. So we can say we have one set, just take it, put it in the package and Take out. Okay. It's very easy. Perfect. So we have pipes, we have some connections, we have pumps, we have some pipes for connections, and between the pipes there are some something like this. Yes, this is a uh, compensating billows, let's say. Okay? And maybe it's a uh, for some people a uh, hard word, it's a strictly technical word, and this element we use to compensate vibration and uh, Compensating up changing of position this piping system. Yes, so vibration, let's say, to minimize the vibration. Yes. In many times I've seen rubber compensation. Uh, you mean about material? Yes, the different material, yes. Mm -hmm. We are typi we are mostly more familiar with stainless steel, yes? Yeah. To make it reliable. It's harder. Harder, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next. Subjects, we have mechanical roots and from the construction point of view and level, uh, vacuum level point of view, how it is? Okay, so, so we can uh, say that this system here, so, so the mechanical pump and the roots pump, there's uh, mm, the pumps uh, which um, I have inside the mechanical elements. Mm -hmm. So the mechanical pump have inside a um, impeller. So when we start the, the pump, the blades are stuck into the wall, so we can um, hear the, the, the noise. And the buster pump, the roots pump, uh, we call 
they have inside two eights. It's okay. like a shaft if you cut them on the side and looking from the side, so you can see like a eight. Yes, the sh shape like eight. Exactly. So, so this two eights is located inside like a two shafts, rotate between. Okay, and then uh, during the rotation, then create uh, you know all uh, the pressure we can suck the air from the object. All of these pumps are have rotating components inside. Yes. With the mechanical pumps, we can go up to approximately around so like uh, from 10 to minus one millibar is the range. You know, we started from atmospheric pressure somewhere here. 10 so to we start one. from atmosphere to 10 to minus. One, one range. And when root pump starts? The root pump can start from the 10 millibars. It is yes. like a first stage when we can run without any problems of this pump. If you try to run the booster pump in the higher pressure, I mean closer to the atmospheric, then um, create inside to big force to pump down. So it's almost impossible in, in that yes. case we can damage. So damage. to make it the most efficient, we start from atmosphere with mechanical. Yes. 10 to minus uh, or 20 millibar, 10 millibar. When we reach 10 millibar around, root then starts. the points for, to, to safety start the root pump. Yes, everything automatically. Yes. There is no influence on the operator. Okay? So this is the basic system. Yeah, but this is what is important. It's impossible to run only the roots pump. Yeah. So if we start with the mechanical pump, we keep going. So hold on to running the, the mechanical pump and then parallel, we, you know, introduce to run the booster pump. Yes. And if we go with root, what is the level of the vacuum we can go with root? It is depends on, of the type of the pump, but typically it's somewhere and the range 10 to minus 2 millibar. Okay, 10 to minus 2 millibar with Beginning root. 10 to minus 3, somewhere here. Now, there is uh, no process. We are in assembly shop, so pumps are switched off. When we normally operate furnace, how about the maintaining, I mean, the time of operating? Does it need to be uh, always uh, running pumps or the pumps are starting only when we, we, when we heat up the load? How it is? It's a good question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is the question because many customers are asking for some savings in electricity consumption. And I know in the past, every time pumping system was operating, doesn't matter if it was loading, unloading the furnace, or heating, or soaking, even uh, during quenching, mechanical pumps were running continuously all the time. How it is now? Typically, there's uh, no problem that the pump can run all the time, yeah. till end of his life. It's not yeah. a problem. Well, when you 24, cut, uh, 24 hours, you know, seven days per week and so on. But uh, currently our system have a uh, eco mode. So we use only the pumps only during the cycles. Okay. So when cycle is finished to save energy at any moment, of course, also we shut down the pump awaiting for the operators, you know, to, to, to start another one. And we save energy, we save money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. We know what levels what vacuum levels we can get, but how about the maintenance of these pumps? So what we have to check during the maintenance or replace or remove? Uh, the first, what is important, let's start from the beginning. So, so when we run the pump, the first uh, we have to check rotation. But before that, yeah. the first we have to check oil level. Okay. So Where? the oil level, we have a special glass, so we have to go around. <clears throat> so we have here the glass. Yes. Okay. Then just looking on by your eyes, you, can, you check the correct level. Uh, Very clean the... and good level today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the first. Yes. And during maintenance, of course, after a couple of hours, or I don't know, maybe thousand of hours. You know, this is depends on, of the type of the pump. Um, oil have to be replaced as well. So yes. to do it, similar like in the car, together with the oil, we should change filter. So filter. It's located on the side. I, one question. Yeah. Do you need to remember the working hours or the system gives you the signal? Hey, please check the level or replace the, the oil. system will give us information about there is when. a monitoring. Yeah, exactly. This is a counter. 
which uh, are counting uh, the working hours. Okay. But how many hours? It's you have to take it from the manual. And you said the filter, so it's com comparable to the car oil yeah. replacement. Seems like from the car. <laughs> Maybe easier because you have easier access than in the car. Yeah. yeah. Okay. For sure. <laughs> Last but not least, diffusion pump. How does it work? How vacuum level we can get and something about the maintenance, Arthur. So maybe before we switch ah, to the fusion sorry, pump, yeah. let's uh, ah, root. talk about the roots pump. Sorry, so, yes. so it's, it's a different type of the pump, but uh, have as well the oil. The chamber, which we have to put the oil. So the glass is to check the oil level, and this type of pump we have located on the top. Okay. And similar situation, so we have both glasses here, and both glasses on the bottom side. So this is a mechanical chambers, and we have pumping chamber inside. So oil is here because it's a mechanical element. Yes, great. So you asked me about diffusion pump. If we compare the size of the pumps, it's big difference between. It is because uh, it's different type of work. There is no mechanical or rotating mechanical elements inside. We have it's like big pot. Yeah, yeah, big pot, yes, something like this, or boil, let's say, yes. <laughs> okay. And the oil is located on the bottom side. So typically for the fusion pump, um, because without oil it's impossible to run the pump and make any pumping. So typically it's using silicon oils or mineral oils. So it depends on preferences the, the, the users. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I can say general difference between oil uh, looking from the temperature point of view, it is that mineral oil has a higher boiling point than the silicon oil. This okay. is one difference. So typically we're using a uh, silicon oil, and like I say, the oil is located on the bottom side, so we can lock it on. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the glass here, and it's different than we have over there. So like we see, we have two different levels. So the first level is on the cold condition. Yes. And the second level is the full, I mean the hot condition. And why is this? With the silicon Different oil, level on the cold, different level on the hot yes. condition. Yes. And there is because during typical operation, so the silicon oil, the temperature of silicon oil will be approximately around 230 Celsius. Mm -hmm. so, so that's why we have two different levels because from the room temperature up to over 200, you know, there is a thermal expansion. Yes. So in both mechanical root and diffusion, the most critical is the oil level and the condition on the, of the oil. Yes. And the pressure. Yes. Inside okay. the object. About the working of this uh, pump, we have, let's say, big pot with the oil. Yes. We have heating system. So how does it uh, work? So inside we have kind of, we call sometimes a rocket. Yeah. Okay, with the, the pressure stages. So when we heat up the oil, the oil molecules are evaporating, going inside and going to the top. 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 Here it sticks together with the rest of the air molecules, okay. which stay on this element. And then when they stick together, change weight and drop to down. Okay. And again, and this is... But it means working. that we cannot start pumping with diffusion pump immediately after the process. Like you said, it has to be prepared. We have to heat up the oil. We have That's to prepare the vacuum inside, initial vacuum by the holding pump. Yeah. And then we need to create a vacuum by the mechanical pumps and then diffusion pump with the valve, it's open. Okay? So it's like that or...? Let's start from the beginning again. Yeah. <laughs> so we know about the pumping system, how it works. So we have mechanical pump and the roots pump. Okay. This system creates for us, let's say, medium level of the vacuum. It is the range around 10 to minus 2. two. In the bar. Like an end, they like say 1 to 10 to minus 2, beginning 10 to minus 3 millibar. And there is a point when we would like to pump down the object by diffusion pump. But before we open the vacuum valve to connect all the system to, to, to one body, okay. the first we have to prepare diffusion pump. Yes. If we are on the room temperature at the moment, so first we should turn on the heating 
the oil because oil will have around 20 degrees. So, oil in, diffu this, oil, oil in diffusion pump? Yes, inside diffusion pump. But to do this, the first we have to run the small pump. Holding pump? Holding pump, create vacuum inside. Because if we not do this and then turn on the heating, everything will burn inside. Yeah. So, with vacuum, no oxygen, no flames, it's safe. So, first create vacuum, turn on the heating, wait till diffusion pump will be ready for operation. Mm -hmm. It is around 230 degrees C. And then, if diffusion pump on the system will show us I'm ready, then we can open the main vacuum valve and pumping the object, I mean, in this case, the furnace, furnace. through diffusion pump, this way here, through the valves, through the buster pump, through the mechanical pump, to the exhaust, to the exhaust out of the boat. Perfect. Arthur, I think we talked today about the basics, so it's, in my opinion, it's more than enough. Of course, apart the pumping system, we have to measure the vacuum level. This will be another Secotox episode, but I really appreciate your knowledge for today and I appreciate your open to, to share your experience today. So that's it for today. I hope it was Maybe interesting not. for I you. I would like to add one more information yeah? because we discussed about the fusion part, but we never talking about what is the range of the vacuum. So You're right. if we know that we <laughs> have finished about the 10 to minus two? two, so we start with the fusion pump 10 to minus three, around 10 to minus seven, somewhere here. Yes. Like I said, today we talk about basics, so we end up with diffusion pump. Maybe someday we can discuss more about another type of pumps or another pumping system with cryo, turbo molecular pumps. But for today, I really appreciate and thank you very much. Me too. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope it was also interesting to you. So follow our Seco Talks and see you next time. Thank you very much.